subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. Boot up in three, two, and one. And let's see which one can actually boot up first. Now, I feel like it's going to be the S9 Plus simply because, you know, Samsung has been making their phones boot up a little bit faster than prior devices. And that's been the case lately for the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. So I would expect it to win. This is the unlocked model with the Snapdragon 845. And over here on the left, A10 Fusion chip, same one that was just launched in the new iPad. And there is the S9 Plus ready to go by quite a margin over the iPhone 7 Plus. Okay, guys, so we're going to go ahead and begin the fingerprint scanner test. Now, the S9 Plus can unlock the display without, you know, even being woken up, whereas the iPhone 7 Plus cannot. You can rest your finger here once you unlock the screen and you can bypass that little unlock sign at the top of the 7 Plus. But a lot of people like to say that this is incorrect because you can just rest your finger. No, that's only from the lock screen. If the phone is actually off, the iPhone 7 Plus won't do nothing unless you tap that home button with a little bit of pressure. So just resting your finger there does nothing. Whereas on the S9 Plus, as you can see, if I just rest my finger, it opens. You can see one more time, rest my finger, it opens. So let's go ahead and be fair here and just see which one actually opens faster from their woken state, which is the way we're going to test this. Three, two, one. And you can see that is the Galaxy S9 Plus. Let's do this again. Three, two, and one. And that's the S9 Plus. We can do this one more time. Three, two, one. And you can see every time the S9 Plus just wins against the 7 Plus because it just simply has a faster fingerprint sensor. Now, the S9 Plus also has facial recognition, which we cannot test here because you don't have that on the iPhone 7 Plus. So if you want to update to some facial recognition, you'll definitely like the Galaxy S9 Plus. Okay, so before we get started, you can see Android Oreo on the right on the S9 Plus, 11.2.6 on the iOS software, for the 7 Plus. Now, before we get started, I'm going to show you that the iPhone 7 Plus has actually a great amount of battery life, actually 100% of its capacity. So there's no degradation to the battery here on my 7 Plus. So this test is totally fair, rocking the latest software you can get for your iPhone versus the latest software you can get for Samsung's Galaxy S9 Plus. All applications are the same, 1x animations across the board for fairness and 1080p resolution to match the iPhone 7 Plus here. Okay, guys so all applications are closed on the s9 plus and over on the 7 plus everything is also closed out here both have capacitive home buttons but the s9 plus is, is a little bit faster as you're going to see in the speed test so let's go to twitter you can see twitter on the right coming home you see i was just a little bit quicker let's go into whatsapp and that is the s9 plus let's go into snapchat that is the s9 plus as well let's go into instagram and that is the S9 Plus for sure. Let's go into LinkedIn. And that is the S9 Plus as well. Let's go into Viber. That's the S9 Plus for sure. Let's go into Pinterest. And Pinterest on the right again. So the S9 Plus smoking through this first social media round. Let's go into Tumblr. And you can see Tumblr on the right. Let's go into B&H. And let's, you can see that they're closed, but that was the S9 Plus. Then we get the notification there. So that's the better app on the right. Let's go into OfferUp. You could see OfferUp opens on the left over the Galaxy S9 Plus. Let's go into Best Buy. And you can see Best Buy is opened on the right over the left. Let's go into Amazon. And you can see Amazon opens first on the right. So very fast phone for the S9 Plus. Let's go into Netflix. And Netflix gets you ready to watch movies on the right first. Let's go into Modern Combat 5, where I expect the iPhone 7 Plus to be a little bit quicker than this of the Galaxy S9 Plus. So you can see we are loading, val validating here. Tap to continue and loading player profiles. So the Galaxy S9 Plus is definitely a little bit slower when it comes to that game low. Let's go into Jetpack Joyride. And you can see Jetpack Joyride opens first on the right and then on the left so coming home let's go into dead trigger 2 and dead trigger 2 opens first on the left ready to play let's hit play on both 
the iPhone 7 Plus actually loads this game a little bit faster to get into the game and the graphics are very smooth as well. So I think if you're going from a 7 Plus to a Galaxy S9 Plus just for gaming, that's probably not the best choice. You probably want to go for other reasons other than just gaming because the iPhone 7 Plus is a monster in this regard. That's why that iPad that just came out is going to be a great iPad for people who want power at a low price. We will be reviewing that soon as well. Let's go into Geekbench 4. And you can see Geekbench 4 looks to have opened a little bit faster, just barely on the S9 Plus. Let's go into Speed Test. And you can see Speed Test on the right for the S9 Plus. Let's go into Adobe Clip. And that opens first on the right. And I will be rendering a video in just a minute. And there is the 7 Plus. Okay, guys, so I'm going to quickly just go back through the multitasking to see which one can actually hold these apps a little bit better. Let's go to Adobe Clip. You see that's the S9 Plus slightly speed test. But really, it doesn't matter which one opens it faster here. It's just about which one actually reloads any, if any. If neither reload, then they're about even. Now, animation speed, though, does look a little bit better on the iPhone for when you're reloading applications. So let's go to Modern Combat 5. And we do have a reload there. Well, it wasn't a reload for the S9. I guess it just picked up where it was. Let's go into the Netflix. And you could see that was the S9 Plus. What about Amazon? And that was the S9 Plus. Let's go into Best Buy. And that's the iPhone 7 Plus. Let's go into Offer Up. And that looked like the 7 Plus. Let's go into B&H. That looks slightly to the 7 Plus. Let's go into Tumblr. You could see maybe to the 7 Plus. So the 7 Plus, when you actually hop into a different app, it might look visually a little bit faster than the S9 Plus after you the fact that you already opened it. But that was a reload there for the 7 Plus. Let's go into Viber. And that was the 7 Plus for the win. Let's go into LinkedIn. And that was about the same. Let's go into Instagram. And you could see that was the 7 Plus, I feel like. Let's go into Snapchat. Slightly to the 7 Plus. Let's go into the WhatsApp. And you could see maybe to the 7 Plus. You know, I'm not seeing these all. Let me know if I missed any down below. Twitter, you could see that's the S9 Plus. So basically, if you just look at how these performed right now, when it comes to their RAM management holding your applications in the rear, it's going to be no problem. They're they're both very fast. And going from a 7 Plus to a uh, Galaxy S9 Plus for this regard is not going to be felt too much at all. Unless you do put the animations at 0.5 on the S9 Plus, it won't be felt too much at all. All right, so I close all the applications. We're gonna go ahead and render that video now. I want all the apps to be closed, so this gives it a little more power. Adobe Clip on both, and you can see that I have this video of my dog right here, and we will render this out really quickly. It looks like this file was corrupted, so let me just go ahead and add it back in there. Let's go to my device, let's go to the camera, and we'll just add this clip right back in there. So the iPhone did a better job at saving it than the other one did. But you can see, this is a video of my dog, a little 40 second clip. You can see, just look at the low light. So you can't even barely see it here on a 7 Plus, but he's definitely in there. But the Galaxy S9 Plus really jacks up the brightness when you're in low light. So keep that in mind if you are going for a camera upgrade between these two. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit save video on both to see which one can actually export this quicker. So save to gallery, 1080p resolution, save to camera roll. Both of these were shot in 1080p. And we're just going to hit set as default and we're going to go ahead and hit continue three, two and one. And you can see it looks like the seven plus is way ahead here. And the seven plus should be done first over the S nine plus the S nine plus is not going super fast at all. As you can see, there we go. We are done and ready to play that video in the gallery as we're still waiting on the Galaxy S9 Plus. So at least if you're using Adobe Premiere Clip and you're doing video editing, it's not gonna be quite as quick on the Galaxy S9 Plus, just like the 6S was a little faster than the Galaxy S9. Now, I know some people are gonna say, well, the Adobe Premiere is not optimized as well for the Galaxy S9 as it is for on the iOS side. And if that's the case, we're gonna go ahead and try a different video app in the next video, like Cyberlink or something like that. Or if you know two applications that are identically matched, go ahead and drop that down below. I will consider putting that app in the next speed test. But for at least for this video rendering test, the Galaxy S9 Plus is not as quick as the iPhone 7 Plus. But will you get a boost in Wi-Fi speed? So we're gonna begin this with the iPhone 7 Plus and then we'll go on to the S9 Plus when this one is done. But will you get a boost in Wi-Fi? I think you might on the S9 Plus due to the newer technology, but neither of these phones are really gonna be running that 5G network when it does drop, which should be way faster than 4G LTE. So these phones, when that does drop, are kinda already behind, but that doesn't 
probably is not coming this year. So I wouldn't be thinking too much about 5G when it comes to purchasing an S9 Plus at this point in time. So 12.123 on the upload here. Can the S9 Plus outdo the 7 Plus scores, which are very respectable? Those are very fast scores here for, you know, the phone being a couple years old. And, you know, I don't expect this to be too much quicker. And you can see it's actually not. It's not pulling in much better download speeds. It actually ties the 7 Plus on the download. But can it beat it on the upload? And it doesn't look like it's going to do it so far. Wow iPhone 7 Plus, no, and it doesn't beat the 7 Plus here, at least on this Wi-Fi test. Now, this is subject to change based on your network speed and stuff like that, but the newer tech in the S9 Plus should have pulled in a stronger signal, so I am a little bit disappointed with that result. Let's go ahead now and run a Geekbench to see which one actually has the better CPU benchmark. Now, take these with a grain of salt because these do not emulate real-world performance. These are just synthetic benchmarks that show a number to you know talk about the processor, and sometimes they are off, as was the case in one of my prior video speed tests. So take these with a grain of salt, but I'll be back with the scores when they are done. So you can see the final scores are in. The iPhone 7 Plus gets its usual 3,500 score here on the single 2381, so drastically lower versus the single on the 7 Plus for the S9 Plus, and a 5975 on the multi-core, 8184 on the S9 Plus's multi-core. Over here, six gigs of RAM, A10 Fusion, Snapdragon 845 CPU over here. And I know some people are gonna say, well, if that was the X, you know, that wouldn't be the same. Retest these with the X, you know. In the American market, Samsung is gonna sell millions of these devices. That's the one they sell here on the launch day. That's what I purchased here with the Snapdragon 845. And just because, you know, they sell X, you know, so it's a little bit faster on the other side of the globe doesn't make this an unfair test because millions of people who are buying a 7 Plus here in the States will be buying an S9 Plus as well or updating to it. So this is the CPU that they're more than likely nine times out of 10 going to get. But what is the overall conclusion of this video? Well, I can tell you just based on experience, the iPhone 7 Plus is a monster beast phone in 2018 and if you're looking to go for a speed update you might want to just stay put on your 7 plus but if you are looking for other features like design and things like that that's where the s9 plus will blow you away over the 7 plus but the speed on the s9 plus with the six gigs of ram i think is more felt than the speed on the 7 plus the animations are a little bit slower on the 7 plus and the s9 plus just gives you a feeling of speed it's one of the fastest samsung phones if not the fastest samsung phone i've ever seen it's very very optimized and i've been using it hard and it's still not lagging at all i haven't had even one twitch on this device so very fast phone in the S9 Plus. I think it's the little bit faster phone in the day-to-day -day real world. But when it comes to video editing and synthetic benchmarks, the iPhone 7 Plus is still a beast. So that's it here for me. iPhone 7 Plus versus Galaxy S9 Plus speed test. If you have any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, drop them down.